Hello everyone. It's that time again for me to say hello to you. Um, just let me know from the chat whether you can hear me again. I always do that. Um, someone says I think he's running late. Yep, that's what I always do. Here we go. Here he comes. Here we go. Yes, okay. So I'm on. So how are y'all? You all doing good? Um, nice to have you back. It's been a while since we've done a done a chat. Um, so I thought it was about time I did another one. And sure, no better time than now. Uh, Philly Farm Girl said, is it bad that I just squealed a little bit? No, not at all. Squealing's good. Squealing's fine. I see you're coming from all over, from Oregon, from Thunder Bay, Canada, Des Moines, Iowa, Melbourne, Florida, Washington, Arkansas, Perth, Australia, Western Australia. So um, good to hear from you all. And I said, this is going to be, uh, I just, just the usual, you know, you know, it, you, we've done these before and it's just been a bit of crack. I've got a lot of questions from you that I've printed out and, um, you know, between, you can ask me more questions here. I printed out that you've, you've put on the Facebook page and stuff. So it's all, it's all fantastic. So we'll, we'll go with all those. It's going to be good. Um, and we we'll probably get a maybe a song in there at some stage as well. Uh, just reading through. I always get stuck reading your message, but I like doing that. It's no bother. Um, oh, good. I was worried you were going to do something new. Somebody says, no, I don't do change. No point doing change. Um, so, yeah. Just, and I guess you're thinking you, you want to... Um, you're obviously asking about the special, uh, my special guest that that uh, I promised I'd have with me today. So I am gonna have him with me, um, and I'd like to introduce you to the wee man who is um, important in my life now, Yoda. Hmm, my meditation, you have interrupted. So yes, I, I told you I was going, I was going to get bring you Yoda. So uh, here he is. Um, oh, you're not not happy with the uh, Yoda, okay? Okay, well, you were always happy with Yoda before, so uh, I guess you're looking someone else as well, aren't you? All right. Still quite waiting any longer. He's lying sleeping behind me. If I wake up. Oh. This is the man you want to see, isn't it? This is Larry Kelly. Say hello, Larry. To all the people. This is his first time on TV. Had a big yawn from Larry as well. Um, someone asking where Mo Molly and Rory are. Molly and Rory are in my mum and dad's house they sort of i've been away so many times and they got so used to being there they're actually staying there full time now and they're just loving it and they love uh poor poor, poor larry's it's well past larry's bedtime as you can see um so he doesn't know what's going on i don't know if he's ever met curious you are many things can yoda teach you there you go larry yoda can teach you stuff if you're interested are you? Stories of adventure, dangerous enemies, the Sith and the Jedi I speak of. <laughs> I don't think Larry's that interested in Yoda. Larry's just interested in falling asleep, I think, is that time of night, so we'll put Yoda to one side. Um, where'd he go? Where'd he go, Larry? So, yes, Larry is my Boston Terrier. Larry and me are now living together um, over a month now, I think, Larry, aren't we? We are. He looks sleepy. He is sleepy, Maggie. He doesn't look amused, Sammy says. I know, I no, it's it just, Larry's got this way of, of going about that he's sort of, um, he, I don't think he ever sort of, this is as, as, as amused. 
as he get he gets but he's uh, he's happy he is happy so he says who takes care of larry when you're away my lovely mum and dad will take care of larry um he's um and they, they love him as much as i do i think and they're they're happy to have us he goes up there he lives with um Rory and Molly as well. So the three of them get on well, actually, they really do. Um, how old is Larry? Larry was born on the 15th of November. So November, December, January, February, March, April. He was just, he's just gone five months then. Um, and he's a happy boy. As you Can I do tricks? <laughs> yeah, another November baby is right, yes. It goes well with myself and Neil, of course, is November. So many of November's as well. Catch Rusty and says, Did you name him or was he already named? No, I named him. Um, for those of you who don't know, of course, um, he's a Boston Terrier, and uh, I'm a Boston Celtics fan. And of course, my favorite player was um, Larry Bird. So I named Larry Kelly after Larry Bird. So that's where he gets his name from. I'm going to move this back a bit so that you can get Larry in as well. He, as I said, it's getting a bit late for him, so he's gonna he's gonna be uh, <clears throat> he's gonna be sleeping. Yeah, he's sleeping already. Actually, that's what Larry does. Um, somebody says I look tired. Do you have a long day? Yeah, I was down with Neil today. We were down rehearsing. Um, rehearsing for Australia for the acoustic shows. Um, and then. Getting some work in as well for the shows we're going to be doing in the summer in Canada and the US. So that's we're putting that together, um, and uh, that's going to all be happening. Of course, we've got the Australia Celtic Thunder shows coming before that, and uh, can't wait for those. It's going to be uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be obviously, um, you know, it's it's going to be very tough because this is the first time. Yeah, somebody just said there, Kathy McLaughlin says we will miss George. We will miss George big time, believe me as well. Um, and this will be the first time on stage without George, and it's going to be a massive, massive loss. And um, yeah, it's going to be tough. But you know, this is going to be a tribute, a tribute tour to George, and in, in the only way we know how, and that's to get back on stage and sing for him, as he would have done for us, I've no doubt. You know. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be doing that, and and you know I, I can't wait to get back on stage to be honest and just do the do the tour, and and that's where it's gonna be, and then from there, um, we're gonna go home, and myself and Neil are gonna get back out pretty soon, to do that, and then before we know it, we'll be doing U.S. and Canada, and then before we know it, um, it'll be time for the cruise, and then before that we'll be. Or sorry, after that we'll be doing the symphony tour as well. So it's gonna be busy. It's gonna be busy, you know. Um, I gotta start. I'll read some of your questions out here. I also tonight just to let you know what's going on tonight. Um, it's just I, I have chosen some winners of the competition that I ran, um, just from last week, and it was just about sharing my album, sharing your reviews of life and how you're doing that, and the their response was fantastic. I must admit it was incredible. I want to thank you so much for it. It's um, it's so so nice to to hear uh, people talking about you know the, the just to read people's comments about my my my, my songs and, and 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 how these songs what they mean to certain people and uh, you know um, it, it's lovely to do that and you just you did it in your. In your hundreds and, and your thousands, and and uh, wrote these reviews, and it's fantastic. Um, I know that uh, you know it's it, 
as I say, it's just been so so good to to to, to read these 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 what people are saying, you know. Um. Someone said, Laura Dale says, how is CT going to do the music with George out there? Are you spinning up the parts among you? Yeah, I mean, that's what's going to happen. Um, George is not going to be there and we will try our best. I don't think we'll ever patch up where, uh, you know, patch patch up what George did. No no way. And we, we, we'll never be able to, you know, <clears throat> sort of do what he did. That's for sure. But we're going to try the best we can to make it a tribute for him, as I said, so. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, now, getting back to, to, to the to the competition, as I, as I said, I've chosen quite a few names, uh, and you'll all get a very special prize from me, and I get a personal greeting and, and message from me just for doing it. It was very hard to choose because I tell you, it was chosen sort of randomly, but people were so, so good, you know. Um, and, and as I say, I love just reading the reviews, and, and you've been so good about getting my... Uh, my album out there, um, and, and that's what you've did in your, in your throngs, and uh, the album's still going. It's so great that the album is still going, going such such, such good guns, you know, between life, and uh, acoustic we Irish, and obviously mythology still going good as well, and Chris's voices. It's great to have all these albums out there, and I'm I'm doing another few projects as well. I've got more albums, um, and you know, just love love the music, love love the whole. Uh, I love that music is still going strong and still dominating my life. Nearly as much as this wee boy is dominating my life while he's all asleep now. But he's a good lad. Um, so let me get to some questions here, just right here. These are questions that you have um, that you have written. Uh, you posted on 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 the Facebook page. Uh, hi Ryan, you and CT have been, this is from Jenny Nelson Snipes, or Snipes, yeah, I think it's Snipes. Hi Ryan, you and CT have been an inspiration to me. I sang my first solo two years ago at age 46 after being terrified all my life. So my question is, were you ever afraid or nervous to get on stage and, and sing or act? How did you overcome it, if so? Um, to be honest, yes, I've been nervous many times on stage and, and, and uh, you know, I think the more you get used to it, the less nervous you get. But I always like, you know, um, I, I I think it's great to, to, I still like to have that sort of nervous excitement that, that I go on stage with all the time. And, and I have it, I mean, I sang back home, obviously I've been home for Easter and, and I was told you about my, uh, about my dad who plays the organ in the local chapel. And uh, he asked me, he was playing on, he was, the organist and, and his choir were, were singing on Good Friday. And so I went to, um, I went to sort of sing my, the song that I've always loved. And that's, uh, Were You There When They Crucified The Lord? And, and it's a song I say that I've always been, um, it's a song I'm always associated with Easter, a song I've always loved singing. And so, um, I sang it for on, on, on Good Friday, and I must admit, I still felt nervous doing that. I always do when I come home, but I, I love it. I love doing it, and I love I love singing. And, and so, what piece of advice I give you how to overcome it? It's just keep doing it. You know, the more times you do it, the more times you get you get more familiar, more confident in in, in singing in public and and and, and doing that. And um, something I will. Uh, I'll keep doing for as long as I can, that's for sure. I love it. I really love it. I'm just reading random uh, questions as I go through here as well. Uh, what brand of tea is your favourite, Ryan? Sassy Sarah says, uh, Punjana tea is my favourite. Always has been. I love Punjana tea. Hmm. Lottie says, I was always scared before performance. If I got cocky, I blew it. All right, okay. So you're, you're happy to be scared. Okay. Fix your watch, please. It's twisted and bothered me. Sorry, 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 sorry. There, it's, it all sort of dangles off me. I don't know. Sorry. 
Right, if it, if it was your last time on earth, what do you want your fans to remember your legacy? Um, God, I don't know. I hope that you like, if that was a case, I hope you, you like my music, you liked my songs, and you thought I was a decent enough person, I hope. You've known me now for seven years at this stage, and uh, I think if I was if I was anything else, you'd 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 have soon caught me out. So I, I don't think I'm. Uh, I'm just normal. You know I'm normal, and, and um, I think that would be that would be a nice sort of legacy to have. You know, just for someone who you get on with, and we I feel like we're all mates here now. Anyway, at this stage, you know. So um, yeah. I think that's that. That's fine. Alexis wants a shout out for her first AK, RK chat. Hello, Alexis. How's it going? Um, when will there be a Mrs. Ryan Kelly? <laughs> Nielsen says. God help anyone who's unfortunate enough to be a Mrs. Ryan Kelly. I'll say. Well, there will be a Mrs. Ryan Kelly, isn't it? Because the um. Ryan Kelly, who is the uh, basketball player for the LA Lakers, I think he got engaged. Because I get all these messages about me being engaged, and then they realised it was actually the LA Lakers player who got engaged. So she will be Mrs. Ryan Kelly. So there you go. Karen Flynn says she'll be in Belfast next week. What should I not miss? The whole thing. Belfast is great. I love Belfast. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Just enjoy, enjoy that Belfast. I mean, I, I know you're, you're um, <clears throat> I said I was going to play a few songs, so uh, I might just do my first song now. Why not? If I can get this man off my lap, as you can see, I don't know if you can see. All right, you're going to have to get down because I have to play a song for these people. See what you're making them do? Um, I'm going to put him in his wee bed here. He's a simple guy. <clears throat> He's fine with that, I think. Um, thinking about what songs to play. I want to play something of life, obviously. Uh, and so I'm thinking about songs that I haven't played before, or songs you haven't heard me play in their entirety, of course. Um, <clears throat> So, uh, okay, I'm going to do a song. It's actually one of the first songs I think I wrote for the, for, for, the, for life um, this time around. And it's a song that, if I can find my black drum. And so I thought I'd give it a go. Say night. And uh, someone's got it right there. El Luis Seder, I think, has got it right. It's um, Run Over Bridges, so I hope you like it. Time I moved on now While I still can At last I'll be strong now Once I'll be mad I'll never be who you need me to be. So let me go and we both can be free. I'll go right 
burden of the bridges Connecting the past with the new Making up the inches And now separate me from Can't look behind me Case I see your face Won't let you remind me Why I stayed so long with you in this place I want to feel free again Away from what's bringing me down To find that real me again That boy who fell in love here in this town Lose my ambitions Places I can't be found Use this intermission To tell this to act life I'm living right around Running over bridges, connecting the past and the new. Making up the inches, and now separate me from you. Won't look behind me Yes, I see your face Won't let you remind me Why I stayed so long with you in this place Running over bridges Connecting the past with a new Making up the inches And now separate me from you There you go, that's Run Over Bridges. Um, don't know why, I just thought that was uh, just a song I wanted to sing tonight. So um, I hope you're enjoying this. And thank you very much for the kind, kind comments there about about the uh, about the song. Thank you. Just reading the report. All right, reading the, the comments here. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> I, I'll just I'll, I'll, let me see. Do another few. Um, Anita Castlebury, how's it going? Uh, says, tell us about the song projects coming up and what we've been hearing about, and what prompted the name change for acoustic by candlelight to Burning Kelly. Um, and somebody else I think has asked that as well and said, uh, was it up to Neil Byrne who changed the name? 
No, um, well, the Bernie Kelly thing is, is that is that uh, it's basically, um, I guess when we got to the stage, you know, where it, it, we, we've been doing the Christy by candlelight for, for years, and we thought it'd be nice just to, um, you know, remind people that it's that's who's behind it, and that's us, it's Bern and Kelly. Um, and that's what we did. I mean, we still we still love the acoustic for candlelight, and it's gonna be I'm not gonna change the format. Believe me, not. We're gonna be still the acoustic, and we're gonna still have the candles. And uh, <clears throat> but we just thought we'd we'd have our names in there as well. So that's it's Bernie Kelly acoustic for candlelight. Look, call us um whatever you like. Just call us good things, please. Not bad things, but um that was it. And um and they're asking why why is it burning Kelly not Kelly and Burn. It's all alphabetical. That's what the reason I believe is behind it, I hope. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Porter Vortex, <laughs> yes. Martina Fogner says, we, 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 we did think we were going to call it as Porter Vortex, but uh, the name didn't stick, no. Where do we leave for Australia? We leave for Australia on the um, May the 5th, I believe. So we've got a bit of promo, first of all. And then from there we go into uh, we go into the shows in Australia. So can't wait for it. Really can't wait for it. Brittany Hines says, "Ren, tomorrow is my sister Brianna's seventeenth birthday. Give her a birthday shout out. Happy birthday, Brianna! Seventeen. That's um, seventy's a good age. Yeah, I remember seventeen. Long time ago for me, unfortunately. Apparently, I'm nearly in my fifties. That's what day." Uh, I read on on the uh, on Twitter the other day somebody thought I was about fifty-ish, so uh, I've booked myself into the nearest cosmetic surgery place as soon as I can. If I mean call fifty. Uh, happy birthday, Bonnie Grimm. Someone says. Uh, are you going to do an, an ABC tour in the summer this in the USA this year? S H Hapley says yes, we are. US, Canada. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. 50 no. <laughs> You're very kind. Um, okay, well, more questions, more questions. Moin Smith says, in general, are you, hi, Ren, in general, are you spontaneous in the things you do, or do you have to have everything planned out? Thanks for the chat. We appreciate it. No problem. I love the chat. Um, no, I, I'm. I guess I don't know. I'm, I'm sort of. I like to plan stuff as well, but at the same time, I guess um, I still. I, you know, I, I, I'm. I'm guess I'm still spontaneous in, in quite a few things. Yeah, I used to be a lot more planned. I think, and now I just let myself go a bit. Um. But, you know, I guess that was the accountant in me who always had everything planned and now I am a bit useless like that. Arlene Brown says, did Larry get alone with his brother and sister? I presume his brother and sister is uh, Molly and Rory. Did he get alone time? I guess it is. Um, he does, yeah. They, um, they're, they're good with that. Mary Frank says, uh, where'd you get your inspiration for your music? It's always been, and, and secondly, it's always been a dream for mine to see you perform live. When are you coming back to the States? And again, I'd like to thank you for everything and you both chatting here with us tonight. Uh, Mary, no problem. Um, where do I get inspiration for my music? For I guess for, for the music and life. A lot of just inspiration from my own life and, and things that have happened, things that, you know, some things I've heard have happened. I think some things that um, I just like storytelling. I do. Well, it's stories that about me or stories that about things I've heard. Um, that's where inspiration comes from. Um, when will I be back in the states? Well, back with ABC in the summer, and then watch the space for that one. ABC, I said ABC. Burn Kelly, I should say, and uh, also back uh, with. Celtic Thunder in the autumn, in the fall, 
doing the uh, symphony tour as well. So a lot of stuff going on. Um, when you leave for Australia, I think I've answered that one. 5th of May, I believe. Dee has got a question for, one for Larry. Hi, Larry, do you like the name Ryan gave you? Give one bark for yes, tw two barks for no. Um, I guess like, Larry's cuddling a ball at the minute, so I don't think he's for barking at all. But he does love his name. Sure he loves his name. Um, he hasn't told me otherwise, anyway. He's named after one of the greatest basketballers ever to play the game, so he should be fine. Um... Dixie Barrick Marker says, Had the pleasure of seeing Mythology in Grand Prairie, Texas in November, my first CT show. Definitely an avid fan of CT, ABC, and your solo endeavours. Is there a set list of the songs performed anywhere? Would love to have it. Thanks. Um, Dixie, I'm sure I know there's a lot of very kind fellow fans out there who will be happy to uh, supply you with it with a list, a set list of the songs. I know people are great and they do keep keep set lists of of, of um of the, of the songs you play and you know at the different shows so maybe you can take a look for dixie bark marker there and uh, you can supply with that please it'd be very good um kimberly story says could you please give a big shout out tonight to my mama jay lee she's been sick in november she's a comer for a month and i played her your music every day and did she finally woke up oh your music was the healing touch and i thank you from the bottom of my heart for sp sending the power of song to the world not a problem Kimberly and Jaylee we wish you a very very uh, special recovery and we hope you, you you get back very soon um, I know actually I was doing my meal the other day and there may be something coming your way that's all I'm saying so um, I may have preempted that question already by, by uh, Something maybe winging its way to you. And by the way, thank you so much for all the mail as usual. <clears throat> it's a, uh, I love, and that's the one thing about love being home is being able to answer the mail and getting the mail back to you and getting all the life booklets. Please keep sending them. Uh, I know some of you are asking what, um, is, it, is it still open to send your life booklets for me to sign, personalize and send back. Um, and uh, look, I will still do it. No problem at all. And I'd love to just get your letters and your, very kind presents for me, presents, a lot more presents for Larry I see now these days, uh, but I'm okay with that. He got all his Celtics gear and he's got his Celtics collar on tonight that someone very kindly sent him as well. Um, Jesse says your mail is on my desk. I'm slacking, sorry. Jesse, sort it out. No room for slacking here. Um, no, but I'm, I'm very happy to, 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 to get the letters and send them back to you, not a problem. Uh, Marisa asks, hey Ryan, well, we love meeting you in West Palm Beach for the last fall. My girls would like to know if you are a roller coaster enthusiast or like amusement parks in general. I love amusement parks. I love roller coasters. Um, after I fell down the stairs last couple of years ago and was in that coma and stuff, I wasn't allowed to go on roller coasters for a year. And uh, But now, since then, I've been back on them because I think, uh, I don't know, my brain's just... As bad as it ever was, probably. But uh, it's it's um, so I'm allowed back in them now, uh, and uh, I love them. I love roller coasters. My favorite thing. Blow a kiss to Alicia. Alicia, there you go. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some some uh, some of the winners as well. I do. Do you know what I'm gonna do them? Let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've got ten, so I'll do the first. Five here. Are these the winners of? Uh, you, will, you will get um, uh, some something special sent out to me. And they, they're just I could have picked so many of these people who, who have been amazing. And the, the reviews that you're you're sending about my um, about my album. I'm putting them on, on iTunes and on and on uh, CD Baby and on Amazon and all. Thank you so much for doing that. It's great and and just getting the word out there. You know. Um, so I've got a, here's a list of the winners so far. No particular order. I'll give the first five here. Janice Monaghan, Amelia Bilbury, Jenna Lee Muse, Ariel Stewart, and Alice Erdman are the first five. So uh, 
thank you so much. Congratulations for that. I'll give you another five in a wee bit. Um, just running down through the, the post. Have you dates for the ABC gig in City? They're all coming very soon already in the next week or so. I think we get them out. Big shout out to the Angels, Kathy. Hello, the Angels. How are you all? Hello from Peru. Hello from Peru. I've never said that. Place to see in County Fermanagh. County Fermanagh is great. Uh, go to the Marble Arts Caves. I got my cousin home with me at the minute. Uh, uh, cousin Dermot, who's home from Australia, living with me. Me and him are sharing the house here at the minute. And uh, he went to the Marble Arts Caves in, in Fermanagh the other day and loved them and recommended it to anybody. So there you go. How did the run of Annie go? Um, it was great. I loved. I loved it. I, anyway, just know I, I was uh, involved in local production of Annie here. Um, it's the same producer who produced Jesus Christ Superstar and Blood Brothers back a few years ago when I was when I was uh, when I was um, <coughs> excuse me um, before Kelly Thunder. And he asked me if I would help out and uh, with his uh, uh, production of Annie he was doing, and I was only happy to. And this, the wee girls were fantastic. They were great, you know, and, and it was a great success, a lot of fun. I love doing it. So I said, is there a video of it? There is a video of it somewhere. So uh, I um, I really, um, I can't wait to see it myself. Actually, I actually haven't seen it yet, so it'll be a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So I said, how do you, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was put off a Larry, Larry snoring in the background here, so I, Hope you can't hear that on camera. Um, I, I had a question there. Someone's asking, how do I... Oh, how do I sing songs about places that I... I know, how do I write songs and sing songs about places that I know? Um, to be honest, it's... <clears throat> I, go, I guess I've written a few songs about, about places in particular. Uh, the village that I call the Moy is obviously one. Um, and I always wanted to write a song about my hometown. In my home village, and uh, I don't know. It just it just came to me. It's sort of you know when you spent your whole life in a, in a place, it's hard not to. Um, I think you, you know you're just inspired to write something. I was always inspired to write something about it. I came with a song actually in life this year. Uh, or sorry, this time around, um, where I belong. It was written about where I belong, of course, which is here. But you know, I think. I, I honestly think it could be um, it could be applied to a lot of places. Um, when I was writing the song, I guess uh, it was pretty much after the uh, after after I'd sort of you know I'd, I'd been <coughs> got injured last year and ended up in the hospital and whatever, and, and I wanted to write a song about that because the people around me, as the whole community of Celtic Thunder. Uh, sort of surrounding me as well but the people here people here did it close to home as well and um do you know that there's there's a song you know in the course where i know if i fall down who's around will hit the ground um break my fall and get me on my feet again and that's that's exactly what sort of people around here did and that's why you know i i loved i wanted to sort of write about that and and um what it meant to be and what the people here meant to be, you know. So, uh, do you know what I might just play it? Will I? Why not? <clears throat> You've asked me about the, sort of the songs that, that have to do, you know, and I suppose are, are mean something to me. So, this one does as well. So, I'll, I'll sing this song. Um, if I can find my plectrum again, I'm always losing my plectrum. That's gone. Take it. Play on the floor. Oh yeah, I've got it here. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, yeah. As I said, it's a song. You know, I wrote the song about my place where I belong. But I think did uh, we did like the plectrum? No, we didn't. <laughs> Lucky enough. Um, he's eating everything else in the house, but not my plectrum. Um, but yeah, I think this could be about your. This could be good about, about, about your hometown as well as as, uh, as as my village, I think, you know. So sing along to this one. This is uh, where I belong. Try 
Travel life has lately got me thinking Where I started in the place that I call home No matter what I see, it still looks stopping gap for me Till the day I have no more to run I want back to where the bars are never empty Where the people in the street call me by name where I know if I fall down, falls around, we'll hit the ground. Break my fall and get me on my feet again. So when when you're gone, you start to miss it. Days of football, laughing in the rain. Walking home at dark, building out our favorite song. Want to feel that happy once again. I walk back to where the bars are never empty Where the people in the street call me by name Where I don't know if I fall down Those around will hit the ground Break my fall and get me on my feet again I know I'll get there soon I'll find a way We'll gather around underneath that silver moon and watch the light on the day. I want back to where the bars are never empty, where the people in the street call me by name, where I don't know if I fall down. Those around will hit the ground. Break my fall and get me on my feet again. Say that running this can lead to problems. I've seen all these people on that side. I can guarantee still one place comes after me. First home and the last place outside. Back to where the bars are never empty Where the people in the street call me by name Where I don't know if I fall down Those around will hit the ground Break my fall and get me on my feet again I'm back to where the bars are never empty Where the people in the street call me by name where well, I don't know if I fall down, those around will hit the ground. Break my fall and get me on my feet again. Where well, I don't know if I fall down, those around will hit the ground. Break my fall and get me on my feet again. There you go, that's where I belong. It's right here. Where I belong. <clears throat> and I haven't woken Larry, which is a quite a surprise. Um so we're getting close to the end of this. It's gone so quickly, these these things go quickly. Um I'll try and get some more um questions in. I also have uh let me see what else there's I've got a list of stuff I wanted to say here. Um Oh, the the people who um, or I, I don't know if you, you saw the actual uh, <clears throat> cover today that that I put up on on Facebook and on Twitter just to remind you of the of the um, of the chat happening tonight, and I said about um, and there's a picture of the me uh, as a Lego the Lego Ryan Kelly chat basically, which shown me. As a Lego man with Yoda and uh, a desk and the light and all that thing. I just want to say thank you, Tim Anderson. Thank you, Tim. Uh, Tim's made a few of those and it's been class. And, and uh, I love the Ryan Kelly chat one. So next time you'll have to get one, Tim, with Yoda and Larry and one as well. I think I'll do the next one. Uh, so thank you. Thank you, Tim, for that one. Um. Oh, 
let's do the other five winners of the competition. A, and they are Rebecca Collins, Anthony De Corpo, Donna Vandenberg, Sonny Donnelly, and Judy Cutler. So there you go. That's all ten. So we'll give you the ten again. Janice Monaghan, Amelia Bilbury, Jenilee Muse, Ariel Stewart, Alice Erdman, Rebecca Collins, Anthony De Corpo, Donna Vandenberg, Sonny Donnelly, and Judy Cutler. You're all going to get something a wee bit special from me. And uh, sorry for all of you who didn't win, but I want to say thank you so much for, for, for all you and what you're doing and still doing with the um, with the reviews and, and posting reviews and and, uh, and just sharing my music and sharing what, what I do and sharing me. So thank you so, so much for doing that. I really appreciate it. Um, I keep going with a few more questions, I think. Uh, let's see where we are. Darlene says, uh, hello Ryan, if you can say, I get well to Doreen. She's not been feeling well lately and that would make her day. Doreen, how are you my love? I hope you're feeling better. I'm sad to hear that you're not well, but I hope, hope all's good. So Doreen, giving you a big kiss there. Let me see what we've got. Lisa Elaine Duckett says, hi Ryan from Missouri, love your music. What made you go into singing? Could you say hi to me? Well, I just did. Hello. Hi, Lisa. How's it going? What making to sing? I don't think I had any choice. I just sang. And uh, I've loved to sing. And I love it ever since. And I've been lucky enough to uh, make a, uh, a job out of it and a career out of it. And I'm very happy for it. So, um, yeah. Thank you. People like you, Lisa, make it happen for me. That's the thing. How about a shout out to Nancy and Barbara? Hi, Nancy and Barbara. How are you going? Um... Gloria says, if Larry took over your bed the night you did the Australian interviews, how big is your bed, really? <laughs> um, what happens when you have Larry, Roy, and Molly all in bed and you in the winter? Is it a tight squeeze? Uh, Molly wouldn't come near my bed, to be honest. She, 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 Molly has got that stage now. She's 13 and she's old. And I think uh, she's got her own bed. Uh, and under the table, she's, she sleeps under the table in my, in my mom's house. So Molly wouldn't come near my bed. But Larry just loves the bed. And my bed's not that big, but he just goes spread eagle sort of thing. So you can imagine what he's like. Please give a shout out to Kendra Buchanan. She'd be too busy monkeying around at the sanctuary to see you live. Well, Kendra, I hope you're enjoying the recorded version of this as it's all on. Uh, Kathy says her Boston cookie snores. Yes, my Boston Larry snores as well. Um, Jean Baldwin says, are you able to sleep on the long haul flight to Australia? Do you fly first class? Um, Jean, no. I do sleep on flights. I love to sleep. As long as I sit beside the window with my pillow, Jen, as you know, I'll know a lot of, a lot of you know about Jen. Um, but I don't fly first class, no, unfortunately not. Not too often, anyway, unless there's a very nice air stewardess who will, or an air steward who will... Uh, Upgrade me to first class, but that doesn't happen too often, unfortunately. Anyway, um, let's see. Let's see a few more questions here. I saw a few more. Let me see. Um, someone says, uh, I'm now a big Kelly Thunder fan, Ryan Kelly fan, and Ratcliffe Kramer. I was wondering if you've ever gotten your sense of smell back after your accident. Um, this lady had a brain aneurysm and lost hearing in her right ear. Don't know if it's permanent or not. Well, I haven't got my sense of smell back yet, but um, they say it could happen. It could happen. There's always hope for it. So it could well be hope for you as well, I hope. And, um, yeah, strange things. George says, hi, Ryan, from your Yoda fan. Thanks for the opportunity to chat with you in Spokane. See you on the cruise. Oh yes, Georgia, how's it going? Georgia, you are still in safe hands here. So he is. I know Neil's guitar is called Bella. Have you named yours? I really don't have a name for my guitar. I should have a name. Somebody says, Judy Kahn says, I'm so glad Molly's still with you. Oh no, she's still there. Don't worry, she's with my mum and dad, but she's still um, 
she said she, I was afraid she was gone. No, she's not gone. Molly's still there. I was up to see her today, and she is. Um, she's an older dog, but she's still she's still lovely, you know. Um, she's still the boss of the house for sure. Is Molly Kelly? Um, I do, we, we've all talked about obviously Australia is the next thing coming up. Um, you know, with Kelly Thunder, and then with myself and Neil doing doing concerts as well. And I just want to say for anybody from Australia who's who's um who's actually listening in now or watching now, it's Anzac Day in Australia now. So it's because it's the twenty fifth of April there. And I don't know, want to wish everybody in Australia and New Zealand and, and, and that part of the world uh, a very um happy Anzac Day and I know it's a very special day for for you all where you um sort of pay tribute to anybody who served for you, the forces. And in doing that, um, I wanted to do something special for it. So I have put together with half, half of a, f a few good friends of mine, put together a video uh, to celebrate Anzac Day and uh, to celebrate the, um, and you know, well, just to commemorate the Anzac Day. And obviously there is a, a song on my album that I've always, uh, I've always loved. And that was um, the band played Waltz Matilda, an Eric Bogle song. History behind it was that I think you've all heard it before, but um, I love to sing the song. I sang it one day, just off the cuff, put it on YouTube. Um, Eric Bogle, the singer, saw it and uh, said he'd like to meet with me. And we, we met after uh, the Kelly Thunder concert last year in Adelaide. I met Eric Bogle, spoke to him and said... Um, Eric, I'd love to record your song if you'd like me to. If if you'd allow me to, and he said he'd be happy, and I did, and so that's where the band played Waltz Matilda came from, on life. And I always it says a song I always wanted to do. I discussed the arrangement with Dave Cook, who arranged my my um the album, and that's where it came from. And so yeah, uh, so I, I put together a video that uh, we we've all we put together a video as I said, uh, to commemorate that, and I I, I hope. You all enjoy it. it. You know, it's it's not just you know. I think the thing the thing about Anzac Day is that it's commemorating Anzac Day, which is twenty fifth. But it's it's very much for the whole world. It's for 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 anyone for us to commemorate anyone who's lost their lives in war or or in, in that in, in battle. And the song is very much a strong song to that. So it's not solely just for people in the, in the in the southern hemisphere. There's 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 I think we can all take something from it. So. I'd love you to listen to that after. I'm going to put up the link um, on my Twitter and Facebook, the usual places. So there's going to be the link to this uh, recording of this um, video chat, of course, as usual. But there'll also be a link to these, this video I'm talking about. And I'd like you to, if you like it, and, and um, maybe you'll just share it on people who may not see it, if they'd like to, to see it. So, so yeah, people since a beautiful day in Australia. For um, for forensic day, so I'm glad. I'm glad that's the that's the case. Uh, Kevazano says, "Are you thinking about doing another album?" They're amazing. Thank you. Um, always thinking about a new album. Of course, we'll see how it goes. I've a lot on my um, on the plate at the minute, but uh, between live shows and guesting on other albums and everything, that'll all be revealed soon. But uh, yeah, there's um. More, more. Um, there's always I've always got songs in my head that I want to get out. So, hoping, hoping it works. So this is a Burn Kelly 2015 calendar. <laughs> 2015 calendars are ready. Go on. I haven't even got through half of this year yet. Um, I'm just just going through your 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 posts here. They're lovely. So I want to say thank you so much for that. I'm, I'm going through my. List to see if I got anything else. Congrats to all the winners. I said I mentioned all those winners before. Uh, I will be in contact. You drop the line, and, and we will. Um, I will get something out to you. A lot of puppies saying hi. Here's Cooper saying hi. A lot of people saying hi to Larry. Um, I should really get Larry back before I go. I suppose. Um, will you be practicing Dublin for the? Australia tour. Someone asked, "Yes, we will. We're going to Dublin to do that early next week." Um, 
any idea will CT will finally come to Europe? We're hoping soon. We really do hoping soon. You know, it's it's something that we um we've always wanted to get to Europe, and we still do. I know I still do for sure. Did I move? No, I haven't moved. I've just moved from. I think this is still my kitchen, but just another. It's another angle of my kitchen. <laughs> Do you know who John McDermott is? I do, for an accent, an accent, an accent singer. Mm -hmm. No, let him sleep, probably. So is it, is it not for to, to, to waken Larry up to say goodbye to you? Probably not. But if you want to. Logan Hansen says, hello. I, got, I am going to do another song, because it is time to do another song, I think. <clears throat> um, a lot, a lot of you have asked for this song. So that's the reason why. I gotta do it. I gotta leave you with that song. Um, but um, again, yes, I just want to say thanks so much for listening to my nonsense, as I always say. I think this today tonight may have been more nonsense even than usual, which I didn't believe was possible. Uh, Jordan, good luck on your film edition Monday. Wish you luck. I don't. You don't need luck. You're great, but have some luck anyway. My wife, Ryan Kelly's wife, says, "Why did you? Why did? What, what did you think when you heard Emmett was leaving?" Um, like, like, yeah, you know, I'm sad because you know I'm sad when anybody leaves the group, as I've been sad before, you know, and but excited for him to go on and do bigger things, which I know Emmett will do as well. Um, but he's back for Australia, and he's going to be doing an Australian tour with us, which is a big thing, you know. So, um, that's something I, I'm, I'm, you know, you know. For, for we 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 got to be you know he's gonna back back for Australia at least and then he'll go on and do his 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 things again you know and and that's that's the it's it's the nature of of this uh, trade that we're in it's it's you know it's, it's what happens and that that's that's the thing about it you know um are you going to do your early morning runs in Australia as someone else I and Glenn Denny us I certainly hope so I couldn't do without the uh, the morning runs, now I have to kiss my head well. Um, I just take a wee look at Larry and see. Oh. He's actually still up, so. Oh, he's actually, he is tired, but he's just gonna say, gotta say goodbye to the people, okay? As you can see, he's not very talkative this time of night. And he's tired, look at him. Oh, he's tired. So, this man here is very significant, as you lot are very significant. Um, and I want to sing a song, something like that. I'm gonna leave you with this song, um, and I'll sing this, and then, and then we'll go. And but as, again, although I could just stay here and just get licked by Larry, which is, which is uh, quite okay as well. But he's gonna go back to bed. Alright, you Larry? I'll sing one more song for you. <clears throat> okay, no, this is one of the song that's been requested a lot, and. Uh, so I thought I'd, I'd sing it for you. Um, take a hint, Larry wants you to go to bed. I think he does. I think a lot of people want me to go to bed. Maybe that means it's time to stop, is it? Um, but we're going to do this song. So um, thank you again for listening so much. Going to finish with this song. Again, thank you for all the support for everything you do. I said every night, but... Um, Every time I do this, I say it, but uh, just thank you. You're the reason I do it, and it's why I keep doing it. And let's keep doing it for, for a while longer, right? Eh? Anyway, I'll leave you with this one. Did I need
need to see the dark. Open up my eyes. Do we need to almost die? Before we can learn to live. Must we nearly lose it all? The answer isn't mine, it's been missing all the time. One thing that I've learned with Must we live with pain? Show us how to love. We need the thread of loss to make us look for help from above. Must we first be poor? Value what we own. Do we need a family? Do we just what we've sown? The answer isn't mine. It's been missing all the time. Thing that I've learned with significance. Do we need the rain to let him enjoy the sun? Do we need to fail to walk? Before we strive to run, must we really cry? Before we then can smile, we always need for sure. Before we go that extra mile. The answer isn't mine, it's been missing all the time. One thing that I've learned, we're significant. Must we fill our minds with dirt? Someone who have to leave our lives Before we find out how much they mean Must our brains be empty Before we really learn We're too far in the wrong direction Oh, we see the turn. The answer isn't mine. It's been missing all the time. One thing that I learned with significance. The answer isn't mine. It's been missing all the time. One thing that I've learned with significance. One thing that I've learned with significance.
Thank you so much, folks. I'll see you all again very, very soon. Thanks for everything. Good night. <laughs>